Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I've gotten into rhinestones lately and so have a lot of other people. And I make my rhinestone templates in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. It has a rhinestone feature and then I cut them on my Cricut because I don't own a Silhouette machine. Well, a common problem is that when you take your templates into Cricut, they don't come in at the right size. Once in a while they do, but most of the time they don't. So I'm going to do this short little video to show you how to fix that problem. Now I want to show you this template in Silhouette, then look at it in Etsy, and then take it into Cricut. So here it is in Silhouette. So let me go ahead and select this, and you can see that the width is 11.499 and the height is 10.103. You can also see those dimensions right here. So what I like to do is I either like to take a picture of it, or jot it down in notes. In my case, I always save my templates with the dimensions in them. So you see here 11.499 wide and 10.103 high. All right, let's go ahead and close out of this. And then here's that same template in Etsy. So you can see here it's SS10 rhinestones. And then it says the width right here, the height right here, and if you say learn more about this item, you see all that information here too. I always include the size of the rhinestones and the dimensions of the template. In addition to that, I like to tell you about how many rhinestones you're going to use. All right, so let's take this exact template into Cricut. So once you download that off of Etsy or any other template that you buy, you're going to save it to some file or your desktop somewhere. So I'm going to say upload. Upload image, and then I can either browse for it and look for the file name, or I see it over here on my desktop, so I can just drag it over. Again, here's the size of the file. Since it's an SVG, I just say upload. Now that it's been uploaded, I just click on it, and I say add to canvas. And that came in way too big. It was not 13.25 wide. It was only supposed to be 11.499 wide. And again, this is a common, common issue when you take things into Cricut. So what I want to do is I want to go right up here. First of all, I want to lock the dimensions. That way, when I change the width, it changes the height. So I'll go ahead and lock it. And then I'm going to go ahead and back up over all of this. And I'll put in 11. 0.499. Now when I hit the return or the enter button, my height should change to 10.103. And it did. Now you can find this in two places. This is a rough estimate. So you notice they rounded there. You want to go up here and look at the exact measurements. 11.499, not 11.5, and then 10.103, not just 10.1. Now that it's the right size, I'm ready to make it. So I hope this has been helpful if you're having issues getting your templates into Cricut the right size. If it does, please give me a thumbs up. And if you still have questions, just put those in the comment section below. Thanks so much for joining me. And until my next video, bye-bye.